There are a lot of tier 10s in World of Tanks Blitz, and now there is a new one, the Chinese heavy tank BZ-75 with two different guns. So, is it worth your time? How do you play it? Which of the two guns should you use? How do you equip it? Is it even a good tank? That's what we're going to find out in this video. Let's first start off by looking at the statistics of the BZ-75 with both of its guns. Now, the first gun, the 130mm, is a very standard IS-7 style gun, 460 alpha damage, slightly improved in terms of DPM and weapon handling over the IS-7. The second gun is a derp gun with significantly less DPM, but obviously a lot more alpha damage and a premium HE round that does 800 average damage. So it's basically a derp gun that you can choose to use. However, the aim time and the accuracy of that gun is significantly worse than that of the regular IS-7 style gun. Both of them obviously have 8 degrees of gun depression. And which one of the two guns you should choose? Well, let's talk about that later. But first, let's have a look at the mobility of this vehicle. It's sort of decent. The effective power to weight ratio is slightly above the IS-7s. So we do have decent mobility here, even though its top speed is 2 kilometers now lower, which, well, actually doesn't mean anything. But it is decent mobility right here. Now let's look at the armor of the BZ-75, because that is where this vehicle falls down quite a lot compared to the IS-7. Now, it's faster and has a better gun than the IS-7, but in terms of the armor, it has not a lot. I mean, you can penetrate the bottom of the turret very easily with most rounds, even the standard rounds at tier 10. Most will simply penetrate the bottom of the turret. They will sometimes even go to the front of the hull. And if that's not even enough, you also have cupolas on top of the vehicle that can be penetrated. Now, you should be careful, though, however, with the side of this vehicle, as there are some spaced plates on the side. So try to shoot it into the side of the turret if you are next to it and you're trying to shoot it into the side. So ideally, the armor on this vehicle not really that good, not really that useful. It can be penned with pretty much any tier 10 premium round, so not really holding up that well. Equipping this tank is quite simple. It obviously has a derp gun, so calibrated is a must-have to boost that penetration. Then enhanced aiming, obviously, all the time. The supercharger only makes sense if you're a camping tank destroyer and in the third slot. It's not a medium, so it doesn't need their vertical stabilization, but it does need the boost in dispersion. Vitality slot, it doesn't really matter what you use there, uh, unless in the third slot you use the toolbox, then obviously it's not a tank destroyer, and even on tank destroyers I use optics, then the enhanced engine as well, and then the third one again, I don't care. Now to get to tier 10, you obviously have to go through a tech tree, and the good news here is, they're all the same extremely boring because if we start right here at the dpm it's pretty much the same from tier 7 all the way up to tier 10 the alpha damage does increase quite gradually though so does the penetration the weapon handling largely stays the same it does get worse at tier 9 and tier 10 gun depression 7768 so not much changes there it's all somewhat consistent the mobility even stays the same for the most part as well even though the armor does increase quite a lot And I was getting some gameplay and answer the question of which gun should you actually use on this vehicle. Now, unless you're a free XP gazillionaire, you will have to start off with this gun, which is basically the exact same gun as it is mounted on the R7, with slight improvements to its aim time and like 2% more DPM. So if you've played the R7, if you have the R7, you're not really missing anything here because obviously the R7 has much better armor and is also easier to play. So if you're a beginner, don't get this tank if you already own something like the IS-7 or even a Type 71. There isn't really much point to get this vehicle unless you want less turret armor, but two degrees of more gun depression. Now, that's the big problem, really, with this vehicle is the lack of turret armor, whereas as an IS-7's turret is kind of impenetrable. This vehicle is going to get penetrated by every single tier 10 premium round straight through the front of the turret. And if that's not enough, it's going to go straight through the cupolas on top. So... Not really an easy vehicle to play. You have the 8 degrees of gun depression, but you're not going to be able to use it much because they're going to pin you straight through the face. Anyway, it's not an E5 that can perfectly hold down. So if you want to hold down, get yourself an E5 instead. But then once you acquire 70,000 XP with this vehicle, 
you also have the choice of using the derp gun. Now, more on that gun later, because this gun right here, it's just very generic, right? If you research this vehicle for this gun, you're not really achieving anything. It's just like researching the VZ-55. It is entirely pointless to do that if you already have an IS-7, unless you want to play the same tank twice, essentially, because there is not that much difference besides, obviously, the less turret armor. So VZ-55 kind of does the same thing as well as this gun right here. Not much going on there. So if you're grinding it for this gun, don't even bother. Just get yourself an IS-7. If you already have the IS-7, who cares? So then, this right here must be the reason that you want to get the BZ-75, because with the 130 millimeters, it's generic, boring, and pointless. And if you already own either the I-7 or the VZ, it does not matter, because you have nothing different in terms of gameplay experience. However, once you slap this gun on it, you can do 800 average damage with 200 millimeters of penetration on this special premium HE round. Now, that obviously immediately eliminates eliminates this vehicle from being anything for a new player so if you're new to this game stay away from this thing grind your i7 whatever this is not the tank this is a meme tank only for this 800 alpha damage he gun that also only has 200 millimeters of penetration and what is important when you don't have a lot of penetration that's right positioning this vehicle in the perfect spot you have to move around the map you have to know what's going on on the map to position this vehicle correctly because obviously it is a heavy tank so it's a lot slower than a medium it's a lot easier to position a t49 derp gun than it is to position this derp gun because it is a lot slower so it is a lot slower to react to what's happening on the battlefield so you need a lot of awareness of what is going on to always ideally end up in the correct positions ideally on the side or rear of enemy vehicles so you can use that excellent 800 alpha damage of your he round because that is everything this vehicle is about it is a special main tank for good players that are already bored with all the other generic heavy tanks and want something new and fun. Because, let's be frank here, the IS-7 is better at the Soviet-style super heavy kind of thing. If you want something that is good at playing a gun depression role, like a hull down, you take yourself an E5. If you want a reliable high alpha damage, good armor heavy tank, you get yourself an E100. So, there's not much point in that space for this vehicle. That's just how it goes. So, it occupies the role of being a fun tank that is simply just a meme. Will it do 800 damage? Will it do 80 damage? Who knows? Grind it, play it, find out. It's probably going to do 80. You're going to be mad. You're going to uninstall the game. Or not. But yeah, this is a meme tank. So if you're not sure that you already like the IS-7, or let's say you have the IS-7, you like, I don't need turret armor. I want a derp gun. Then this vehicle is exactly the tank for you. Advanced player... I want something new in terms of heavy tanks. But as a general grinding advice, IS-7, E5, E100, maybe the 60TP, that's what I would go for. Not something like this. Oh, and let's not forget the 113. The other Chinese heavy tank is much better at just consistent fire and also has better turret armor. So my recommendation, if you don't have the 113, grind the 113 because it is much more fun and better. But... If you're in the realms of the derp, this is obviously sort of your only option now at tier 10 in terms of heavy tanks. So if you love the 183, then first of all, what the hell is wrong with you? And second of all, this might be the perfect tank for you. For everybody else who just wants to have regular, normal, fun gameplay, get the 113 or the i7 or the E5. I don't know. This vehicle, eh, not really amazing, but it's there.